Radio off. I did not want to turn it off. I need her. What if something happens to me, man? What if something happens to us, Henry? What are you gonna do now? Oh no. I'm actually getting kind of terrified what's maybe over here. A strange camera. Oh god! Hey everybody! And welcome back to see Delta T play some more Firewatch. Last time we made it into the research facility that was apparently looking at us. Like they were literally studying us and like they told me how easy I was to manipulate. Apparently like I'm an 8 on the scale. Which, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, if it's actually true or not. And we made it back here. We're being studied. We're being watched. They know things we never told people about. And now we're going to see what we're gonna, what's going to happen next. So let's go ahead and use the wave receiver and talk about it. This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? Towards the southwest it looks know. like. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Alright. Uh, do you I have my wedding ring on? Good. Up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? What? No! I am getting drunk! <laughs> don't do that. do that. Yeah, don't do that. I know, I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but... You gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. No, no, What's you're Lau? Right, I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision making inhibited right now. My What's Lau? Is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Radio off. I did not want to turn it off. I need her. What if something happens to me, man? What if something happens to us, Henry? What are you gonna do now? Oh no. I'm actually getting kind of terrified with maybe over here. A strange camera. Oh god! They did that to find me. They now they know where I'm at. They know I'm where I'm at, and they know where I'm at. That's the. D, I I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics. But it was. There's Wendigos, aren't they? That's what was making. We're going back to that one life. cave from earlier. You're okay. It's not a trap or anything. <laughs> it scared me at least. Fine, but there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Where's okay, the cave? Okay, I don't remember where it think. was. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so... Cave 452, north hand. side. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the go back to two forks, go north. Dark in the middle of the woods. Oh, well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing. Oh in no! Out, and it's not you. It is not me. Oh, oh no! My God, go! I'm going. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Hopefully, I can find my way back. Making my way downtown, walking fast, face like that. That's- this is getting freaky, man. This is actually getting really freaky. Oh, God. All the trail. Two forks? No. Two forks, where are you? No, it has to be north and- okay, over here and then east. Turn right up here. Look for- turn right over here. Right there, this way. This way? No? Am I lost? I'm freaking lost, aren't I? This is not the time to be lost, me. Oh no. Oh. Is the fire spreading? Looks like there's a fire over there. Can I go up this way? It does not look like I can go up this way. Alright. I have an idea where I'm supposed to go, I just don't know how to get there. Hey, I got turned around. Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. Alright, good, okay.
But why would he go up to my Palooka lookout? Like, is there something up there that's important? I had the black box. The black box was left over there. Oh god, that scared me. I thought that was like a bear or something. Holy crap. That piece of ash just scared the crap out of me. Holy cow. Oh god. It's not like there's someone in the water. I just want to look at my map, please. I went the wrong way. North. I went the completely the wrong way. Oh. So go back up this way. Turn right at the medicine wheel. Alright. Holy crap. I need a better sense of direction. Like, holy cow. That was really bad. Medicine wheel should be up ahead somewhere here. Then we'll turn right at the medicine wheel. Hopefully, there it is. Medicine wheel. This way. Did I climb something? I don't remember. I wish they had like a boardwalk to tell me which way to go. Not a boardwalk, but you know, like wooden planks to tell me which way I have to go. This is where I started. This is actually where I started. Holy cow. I am so bad at directions, apparently. And I hope for the best- I hope and pray that there's nothing evil over here. Where is this? I've never been here before. I got turned around so bad. Am I going the right way? Yes. Alright. Follow this thing. Follow this path right here. The wind is blowing. Something's not right. I can feel it in my bones. The owls are hooting as well. Owls hooting are never a good sign. Am I going the right freaking way? Seriously? <laughs> oh, I'm going the completely wrong direction, man. Not completely wrong, but you know, I'm go I have never been this lost before in this game. Are you kidding me? I need to be more patient. Alright, so... Go straight, and then turn right over and over here. There's gonna be a right turn somewhere over here. Alright. There should be a right turn... Somewhere up... Ah, uh, there you go. This is it. We've done it. Alright, now we're in an impasse here. We wanna go basically north, so let's go this way. What if we just go through the woods? I found it. I've done it. I've actually done it. I, I don't know how I did it, but I've done it. This was the longest journey I've ever had taken. I was like lost the entire time, man. Alright, now be very careful. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. Put me in, coach. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Is she- is she drunk? Is she seeing things? Better not be drunk, lady. Oh my god. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Alright, this does not look safe at all. It's- it's an explosive- it's- it's rigged to explode, don't put it on. Tape of us talking down at the site. They're trying to make us. Sounds they're like trying to. Reported from somewhere nearby. They're trying to make it sound oh, like Jesus. we're burning down the place. Looks like. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. Oh no. No. We are screwed. Yes. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Record everything you guys are saying now, maybe. What the fuck is happening, Henry? Whoa, relax, lady. So this game had such a dramatic change in tone.
So your little bender isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? No, it isn't, but that's not it. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said oh, that my I knew God. what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together. Yep, stick together. Okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Honesty is the best policy. I suppose you're right. I know. I'm not exactly sure if that's true, but... Oh! They're gonna rig this place to blow, aren't they? That's not safe. I don't feel safe with those propane tanks right outside my door. Right, so back to that one place. We're going back to the cave. The cave is up north. So north that way. We basically just have to go this way and you should be we should be fine. That's pretty messed up though. Looks like it looks like they're trying. Oh god, that scared me. It honestly looks like they're trying to uh what's the word I'm looking for? Frame us. For the, these fires. But like... The only reason why I could think they're doing that is because they want to get extra money from the... Government to pay off these gi giant fires. To, or to help with the fires. But they don't want to do it the, you know, they don't want to be... They don't want to wait for nature to take its course. They want to do it... They want to speed up the process. They want the money. That's what it sounds like to me. I mean, I'm not sure if that's necessarily true or not. Because, well... I doubt the the game has that much financial insight. I'm not, not to say that people who made the game aren't smart or anything, but just like hey, seems kind of like odd, in my opinion. You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. They're trying to make us turn on one another. Another. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me, but now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course, I didn't. No way. They're just they're trying to pit us against each exactly. other. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen though. Thanks, Henry. No problem, Delilah. Me and you, we're in this together now. All right, we're going to go see what's in here. And just like that, the story begins. There better not be any when that goes in here. I do not want to deal with any Juan that goes. What the hell? No. 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 Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Oh, Delilah, no. send someone to the cave, please! Can't get in the camera section. Holy cow. And this, my friends, is the story of how Bruce Wayne... AKA Henry became Batman. There was something here, because there's no way that was naturally made. Looks like something scratched it. Why are they calling it Blasty out of curiosity? I don't think that's a safe idea, but sure. I'm look down here. Jesus, this is a big cave. Alright, looks like we can't drop that way, so I guess we do have to go this way. Man, if you have claustrophobia, holy crap. I would be freaking out, honestly. If that was me right now, I'd be freaking out. I'd be like, fuck. I'd be like, fuck. That's, that's what I'd be like. I saw, I thought something, something, something shine, like light, light shine or something. It must have been my imagination. It's freezing in here. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Henry. I could not have figured that out my, on my own. Why are you saying these things out loud, Henry? Out loud, Henry? You know, that's one of the things I always have problems with certain, like, games and shows and... Is anybody down there? You don't think that the missing people were 
made to go in here. No, right? No, that's something else. That, that person was came was in an accident. That's not this. All right, we're gonna keep going forward. There's no other place to go. We can't go backward unless we must stay here and die. I wonder. I wonder if uh, that was weird. What the safety procedure is for this type of situation? Like, are you supposed to stay or are you supposed to like move around to get out? Try to find a way out. Are you supposed to stay where someone can find you? I mean, I guess you'd be on your own if this was you in, in real life. I would assume. Oh, we've done it. Where am I? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No. No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? I found no, a shoe. There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. What about the shoe? I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor. The shoe, the lady! Tell her about the shoe! That sound dangerous. God, I, I, why did you tell about the shoe? That's, that's something. So, where am I going back to the two, for, two forks? So, what if I go north? There's more, more of this passage up here. Looks like there's nothing up here? Or is there, uh, there is. <gasps> Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Hold on. Backpack retrieval plan. Backpack retrieval? <gasps> that backpack that we saw floating down there. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Rude. Because I know lots of stuff. Rude. Oh, please so rude. drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting F all equals these MA. years for a man as wise as Q you is equal to MC Delta G. Job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. That's sexual harassment, boy. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. I found Is an that, old school folder. Uh, Brian was a hell of a doodler. It looks like Freddy. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much Freddy, what's his name? Here. From Friday the 13th? Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves Whoa. gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking yeah, dark. It really is. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Looks like he had bad family life. Bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He made the place pretty comfy too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. What are pythons? Are they like uh, climbing gear? 
He also stole his dad's climbing equipment. His anchors. Ah, uh, anchors, okay. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Huh. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Dear Ranger, Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. You found this note. It should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Can you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is... If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them. But I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip. So I thought I should pretend to lose them. If you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. There's a ham radio Holy crap. here. Something Brian was working this on. This kid is smart for such a young yeah, kid. Uh, I think that was he actually made a circuit. Him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. That's impressive for that little kid. Oh, Brian and Ned. Okay, so they both were working on it. Looks like. There's some grade A dork contraband here. Here. <laughs> Intelligible nerd stuff. Protector? I found a, uh, I guess. The data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf, armor seven. Chaotic good ranger. Classic wizards and wyverns. Man, I really want to play that game one day. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Video games. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah. It looks like, like a Pong. Game Boy, kind of. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Wow, oh, this place is pretty messed up. I'm going back in the cave, though. If I can. How? There it is. Here's the entrance to the cave. There's a shoe down there. Is Brian, like, stuck down here or something? How do I get back up there? I hope that's not the case. How do I get back up there? Do I have to go back all the way around? Game, please don't tell me you have to do that. Oh, no. There has to be a better way. Huh. Is this not the- is it's not the cave entrance? I thought this was the cave entrance for sure. I could have sworn that was. But I guess we can't go over there now. But I don't have the key to the place anymore, so why would I be- It wants you to go back inside. But how do I get myself back in there? That's where I'm like, confused about. How do I... Ah. There you go. So I have to look for these types of things. That was that crack from earlier. Okay. That makes sense. Luckily I'm good enough that it doesn't fall down and break off. What do you think is in there? I found a shoe. I hope it's not Brian. There's gotta be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Good book. Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was sarcastic. Whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there and it'll be worth the risk. Alright, I'm gonna see. I guess I have to go back to the beginning because I don't know where I'm going anymore. Because I could, at least maybe I didn't look around enough, but I couldn't find a way back in there. Uh, also, yes, lady. Those girls turned up. 
Looks like you didn't kill him. I knew it. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Lock them up. Throw away the key. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened to the I would camp. not. I, I meant. I meant. I meant, I meant to say like. Be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. I agree with that. You're probably right. I was. I wanted basically what I wanted from that was basically to say like, oh, you know, I wonder if they know anything. Like they're stupid, because <laughs> that's. Wow. Like, I don't believe that, that people would do such a thing. This is a different cave. No. Can I put like a like a? I need like a rock to hold it open if I can. I I would like grab. Well, it's gonna be locked again. Watch. Oh no, they didn't do it this time. So let's put this anchor in here and go back down here and see what's that, what what this uh, cave has in store for us. We know that there's a shoe down there. It would freaking suck if it's actually Brian that's down here. But how did he get down here? We, we saw him leave. We didn't see him leave, but we were told he left, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe everything's just getting fuzzy for me and I don't remember everything. I know my memory's not the best thing in the world. Sure, let's go down the spooky cave. What else can go wrong, right? Watch red, man. Ooh. And you gotta be careful of cavens right now. That's actually very scary. Where is the shoe? Alright, we made it. It's a pretty empty cave. It's a big cave, but there's nothing in here. What happened to that shoe? Am I just not going to see it anymore? Like, I know there was a shoe. And it was pretty far down. Oh. Oh, shit. That's the shoe. You're Brian Goodwin. I thought he left. Wow. Wow. I know I'm never going climbing. <laughs> like, not only am I too afraid to go climbing, because of, of things like that, but it's just like... It's too dangerous, you know? I don't want to die. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I There's too many things in life that I enjoy. And don't want to miss out on. In all honesty. But if you guys do go climbing yourselves, you know, be careful. You know. Because. Yeah, you may get hurt. Yeah, you may die. But honestly, when you die, you're, you're not. The people who are most damaged by that is your family members. The people that love you. Be it your friends from school. Your, your parents. Brothers, sisters, grandparents. Someone will be very, 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 very badly affected by that. So. Be careful, guys. You know, it's one of the things. One of those things. One of those things. Yeah, have fun, but you know, be careful while having fun. Why'd it have to be so heavy? Both, you know, literally and figuratively. Cause I'm a pretty pudgy man. drop down here so what was the point of going down this cave so we, we know that the kid died you know sad yes smart kid son like a good kid you know but like what was the point was it just to find that out like was that really necessary did I have to I had a feeling the kid was gonna die but you know that was weird Hey, D. There's an alternate you entrance? entrance? My ass off. Hey, you um might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. 
A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. You never know what to say when something like that happens, do you? Oh, the fire got out of control, that's why we're leaving. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Wow. Is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. All right, well, I think we're gonna stop here for now. There's a giant fire, there's a death of a young child. Um, we'll see how things go on next time. Hopefully it's not too sad, you know? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Firewatch. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces!